Yeah, we actually just got word from county public crews, public works crews, who say it is at this point safe to check out some of the damage. So right after this, we're going to head up. But you can see CHP still has the road here closed behind me. This was a powerful mudslide. Take a look. It actually moved several cars at least 50 feet. One resident described it as hearing what he thought was thunder, only to find out that it was mud, debris, and boulders coming down from the hillside behind his home. And this all happened along Silverado Canyon Road between Ladd Canyon and Olive Drive coming down from some of the side streets. It caused damage to nine vehicles with mud flowing through seven homes. Four people also trapped in their homes and had to get help from the OC fire officials. This activity forced some people to leave their homes while others decided to stay behind. Listen here. I hate to leave. It's a hassle. But I can't outrun um, mud anymore. It created this big wall of, of a river. We're in a safe spot for our neighborhood. Right now, given certain sets of circumstances, this is our choice, but we know that, you know, different set of circumstances, we choose to do something else. And this is another look at the area from Sky Fox yesterday morning. Silverado Canyon, Williams, and Majeska Canyons are still under those evacuation orders, impacting hundreds of residents. So the good news is, Tony Aroxia, we haven't had any additional mudslides since yesterday morning, uh, but we're starting to see those light sprinkles again. I know Sumata mentioned that it's going to be on and off again, those showers throughout the morning. So uh, we're going to head up there, up the road, and we'll give you a look at some of the aftermath later this morning. Reporting live, we'll send it back to you in the studio. Oh, my goodness. Okay, uh, Mario, thank you. Yeah, those residents they're still holding their breath.